pattern of redox reaction in basic medium. Now, just like we actually saw in the acid medium, step number one is to divide the equation into two half cells, making use of the oxidation numbers, right? Reduction and oxidation. Step two is to balance atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. Step three, I already explained step two, okay? What is actually spectacular in these steps, right, is the step three. In the case of acid medium, step three and step four is what is combined to give this step three. Now listen and listen very carefully. I'll detect and I'll also explain. Here it says, balance each atom, balance each, each oxygen atom, each, by adding two OH. In the case of acid medium, for every oxygen atom that is needed, we added water, it's not so. So here, for every one oxygen atom that is needed, you add two OH. You add how many OH? Two. Now, once you've added OH, they said add to the side of the half equation that is deficient of oxygen. And on the opposite side, add one mole of water. It's a two-way stop. Because once you add OH, you have automatically introduced what? Hydrogen. How many hydrogen? Two. Right? So on the opposite side, you have to add water. So if something is lacking one oxygen, now well, listen, you add two OH on the opposite side. Once you've added two OH, you need to come back and add one water. If something is lacking two oxygen, you're going to add four OH. Right? On the opposite side. Then come back and add how many water? Two water. All right. Now, step four is similar to what we did previously, which says balance each half reaction electrically by adding electrons to the side that is more positive. Already explained this in the previous um, illustration. Now, step six or step five says use coefficients to ensure that electron gain is equal to electron loss. So let's look at this. Step one says split it into two half cells, reduction and oxidation. So I'll come here. Now this is my reduction and oxidation. Now let's use our oxidation number. Here, manganese. We do not know manganese, so we're going to solve for virtually all of them here. We're going to solve all of them. Manganese is what we are looking at for. Oxygen is, is constant. They already gave us that guy. Oxygen is always minus 2, except in peroxide, and none of these compounds look like peroxide. Because I already gave us how peroxide looks like, so this is what you should be looking at for. Now this is the simplest um, form of peroxide, the hydrogen peroxide. So manganese, let's make manganese with x. If this here is x here, manganese is x, plus oxygen is minus 2 times 4, we equate this guy to minus 1. Of course, we're always equated with the charge. This becomes x minus 2 times 4 is minus 8 equals to minus 1. If you make x up here to become that, it becomes minus 1 plus 8 equals what? Plus 7. So manganese here is plus 7. Now manganese here is going to be plus 4. How is it plus 4? If you make manganese to be x, which is here, plus oxygen is minus 2 times 2 here. That equals to zero. Equate it to zero because this guy is neutral. It does not have a charge. Right? So this becomes an x minus 4 equals to zero. x equals to 1. Plus 4. So manganese moves from plus 7 here to plus 4 here. That shows a decrease in oxidation number. And a decrease in oxidation number is reduction. Right? Yes. So one here, I'll say N N O four minus into N N O two. So let's remove this guy. All right. So let's look at our observation. 
Let's solve for oxidation number of carbon here. I don't want to achieve, I don't want to achieve anything at all. Now carbon here, let's solve carbon to the x. Carbon is 2, 2 times x is 2x. Now plus, oxygen is minus 2 times 4 equals minus 2. Now this becomes 2x minus 2 times 2 is what? Minus 8. When you do that, this becomes 2x. When this person goes back to this other side, it becomes minus 2 plus 8. That's 6. So 2x equals to 6. x equals to 6 to value. So that's equals to what? 3. So carbon here is plus 3. And carbon here is plus 4. How? Make carbon to be x. Carbon is x plus oxygen is minus 2 times 3 equals to minus 2. Now this is x minus 6 equals to minus 2. Now plus this guy to this other side. Connect like that. This becomes plus 6. x equals to plus 4. So carbon here is plus 4. So once again, this guy moved from plus 3 to plus 4, which indicates increase in number. An increase in oxidation number represents oxidation. So I'll come here and say C2 O4 2 minus CO3 2 minus. Alright, so this is what we have here. Rule number two says balance atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. So if you look at the reduction half cell, the only atom that is not oxygen and hydrogen is manganese. And manganese looks balanced here. One here, one here, so it's balanced. Now look at the oxidation. Carbon is actually not balanced. So we come here, it says step two. Since there's nothing to do for the first one, you just bring it down. Reduction is uh, MnO4 minus. Now this is MnO3. Now this guy, oxidation, is C2O4 2 minus. And then you have CO3. Now, if you look at this, carbon is how many here? Carbon is 3, right? Carbon is how many here? 1. So for me to balance this guy, I'll put you here. So, having done this, I have actually successfully balanced atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. Our step 3 says, balance each oxygen by adding 2 OH on the opposite side, that is the side that is deficient of the oxygen. And then on the opposite side of the OH, add 1 um, water. Right? So let's do that. Please look up. Three, I'm going to keep enough space here because I do not know how it will turn out to be. So this is this guy. Let's say let me keep space here. So let's do it uh, individually. Let's finish on the reduction before we go down to the oxidation. So here. Oxygen on the left hand side is how many? Four. Oxygen on the right hand side is how many? Meaning that the right hand side is lacking how many oxygen? Two. Recall, for every one oxygen that is lacking, how many OH are we adding? Two. So since it is lacking, how many OH are we going to add? Four. So we say plus four OH minus. Since we added four OH, on the opposite side, how many water are we going to add? Two water because if you add two OH, you add one water. Four OH, two water. What if I add six OH? All right, so since I added four OH, I will now add two water, right? This becomes equals to plus two. So this is it. Now we are done with the reduction. Now let's look at the oxidation. We have. Um, this look. The product side has two times three. Two times three is how many? Six, right? The other side has how many? 
four. Now, who's on this side is short, um, short oxygen. Left hand side or right hand side? This guy is having four, right? This guy is having how So the reaction side is lacking two oxygen, isn't also? For every one oxygen that is lacking, you put two OH. Please, you must always make sure you put the minus. Now, since two oxygen is lacking here, how many OH are we going to put? Four. So since two times three is six, this guy we have six oxygen and we have four oxygen. This side is lacking two oxygen. So for every one oxygen that is lacking, you put two OH. So for two of them, now say plus what? Four OH. And on the opposite side, how many water will I add? Two water. So we are done with our step four. We are, we are now left with step four. I'm sorry, we are done with step three. And next is step four and five. Now step four says balance each of them electrically. So I'm going to write the first one so that we deal with the first one first. So I have reduction. I have MA O four minus. So let's deal with this guy first. Now if you look at the reactant side R plus minus 1, which is this guy. And the product side has minus what? 4. Minus 1 and minus 4. Which of these is more positive? Of course, minus 1 is bigger than minus 4, right? So for me to take this guy to minus 4, how many electrons will I add? 3 electrons. So that this minus 1 will go to minus 4. So I'll say plus 3 electrons. So we have balanced this guy electrically. We have succeeded in balancing this guy electrically. So the next thing we're going to do is for us to look at the oxidation. Alright, please look up. Let's do the product side. This guy. Minus 2 here. So we have minus 2 plus 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. Minus minus, we have total of minus 6 on the reactant side. Now, this other side, 2 times minus 6 is what? 2 times minus 6 is minus 4, right? So, we have minus 6 here and we have minus 4. So, minus 6 and minus 4, which of these is actually more positive or bigger? Minus 4, right? So for us to reduce this guy to minus 6, how many electrons are we going to add here? How many electrons? 2 electrons plus 2 electrons. So we are done with the step 5. And we step 4. Now step 5 says, use coefficients to ensure that electron gain is equal to electron loss. Electron gain here is having 3. Electron loss is having 2. Recall what I told us earlier. Now, there is no whole number that can be used to multiply 2 to give us 3. Is it not so? So in the absence of this, what we are going to do is that we are going to do opposite multiplication. That means this one that is 3, I must pair with what? 2. The one that is 2, I must pair with what? 3. So this becomes multiply reduction by 2 and oxidation by 3. So that is it. Multiply reduction by 2 and oxidation by 3. Now, why? Why would we mean that? Because we want the electrons to be equal. 6, 6, so that they can both cancel out. So once we do that, our reduction becomes, we are multiplying this guy with 2, so that here becomes 6. So this becomes 2 MnO4 minus plus 4 H2O. Now, if you must spread this here by 2, what you're going to get. 
Now, observation by three. So we say, uh, so we have uh, three times one is three, three times two is four, three times two is six, three times two is six, plus so three times two is six. So if you notice that this electron gain is now equal to electron loss. We have succeeded in making it to be the same. So it's time for us to cancel out what needs to be cancelled out, leaving behind the main equation. Now look at this. Please look up. So, electron gain is 6. It was electron loss, still 6. So, this 2 will go. Now, let's check out to see if water and OH will cancel out. Water is 4 here. Water is 6 here, right? 6 times 4 will give us 2. Where are we going to write the 2? The side that is more, that is more right? So, we're going to put the 2 on the good loss side. So that this entire water will cancel this guy and leave one behind with what? Two. So I want to do this. I'm just going to say this guy. So that I see what is counting out. OH will also move. There will be a subtraction here. OH on the reactant side is 12. OH on the product side is having 8. So if you subtract 8 from 12, you're going to be left with 4, right? So that 4. So, 12 minus 8 is 4. Sorry, is it 4? Yes. Alright, so let's put this guy down. You put down your 2, this is your overall redox reaction. 2MO minus plus this guy, 3C2 minus plus, remember, 12 minus 8 will give us 4, right? So I'll say plus 4 OH. Now this gives me. Two. Let's use this other side. Okay, let's just manage. Plus six. Plus what again? Remember, there is six here, right? Six minus four gives us what? Two. So here become. So that equation is balanced. So if you want to write this guy on this other side, the redox reaction balanced becomes So that is it.